I'm starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness because that's when stars shine brightest. If you've been looking at our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is A Tortured Heart. And that is because Leo rules the heart and there can be someone around that is experiencing intense agony or anguish due to a tortured heart because there is a very harsh grand cross among the fixed signs and it is severely challenging the sign of Leo where the moon is. A grand cross occurs when there are planets in all four signs that are exactly uh, the same type and fixed signs don't budge. So that moon in Leo today is opposing Mars in Aquarius and those two planets, and Mars is a malefic planet, are being squared by Uranus in Taurus and also by Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio. So the problems that can arise can arise from the things that Leo rules because that little moon in Leo today is not being fortified in any way. There are no planets in Aries or Sagittarius, so nothing in the other fire signs to support that moon. However, the other planets that I mentioned, Uranus in Taurus, Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio, and Mars in Aquarius, are all being fortified. There are, they are having a lot of backup from planets in the same elements that are trining them. And so that intensifies the harshness of this grand cross. Leo rules the heart but it also rules children and sports and the whole entertainment field. And it rules leaders that could be in business or in government or in um, politics in one way or another. And it also uh, rules the heart, the back, and the blood supply. And it rules, um, it rules gambling and it rules uh, horse racing. So Leos, Leos are generally full of courage and they're quite anxious to be sort of the head of things. After all, Leo does rule royalty. But this little moon in Leo, which rules generally our feelings and our families and our home. The moon is the traditional ruler of Cancer and Cancer rules that fourth house of home and last half of life. That moon in Leo is really taking a beating from the other planets and what that really means is that I think, bottom line, is that someone, or even a or whole organization, has gambled at something and they've lost. And for that reason, their future is in jeopardy. Why? Because you can't have it both ways. You can't take a risk you know, you can't say that you are giving your word in one way and then risking all of that by doing something in a completely opposite way. So somebody's future is in jeopardy right now because they've gambled and lost. So let's take a little closer look at what those aspects represent so that we can see where in our lives you could feel a tortured heart right now. The first aspect is simply that the moon in Leo is being squared by Uranus in Taurus. Taurus is a fixed financial sign ruling how you make your money and what you spend it on or invest it in. But Uranus is a very malefic planet because it rules sudden surprising change, volatility, rebellion, and surprise. So unexpected things, you can't really count on it. And that means that it not only rules genius, but it could have something to do with people who could act even in an insane manner. Something is completely unpredictable. And so since Taurus is a fixed financial sign, that means that a tormented heart could be the result of something like uh, gambling losses, or it could come from uh, unprofitable speculation in investments, or it could simply come from something like layoffs. In other words, a sudden change of fortune, you know, today you're working, tomorrow you're laid off. That could represent something that could give a person a tormented heart. And then secondly, that um, moon in Leo is being opposed by Mars in Aquarius. And Aquarius rules the future. It also, Mars is also a malefic planet. 
It rules war, aggression, jealousy, greed, hate, and um, even attacks or the possibility of insanity maybe brought about by anger or desperation. So in that heavy opposition to the gentle, lonely moon, it simply means there could be a very jealous, vindictive, revengeful, possibly insane person or organization that could prey on the things that Leo represents, such as children or uh, sports figures or celebrities or political or business leaders or uh, it could simply bring a lot of stress to the heart, the back, or illnesses that are related to the blood supply. Or once again, it can result in some sort of uh, problem that has to do with gambling or even horse racing. And because these aspects are so harsh from this malefic planet, Mars, it simply means that underworld figures could aim ruthlessly at their victims right now, and this could occur among gang members as well. So, so this is an element of danger for a lot of people. And then there are those that would like to manipulate others in order to uh, control them or affect some sort of outcome that could possibly be malicious, or it can be that they want to manipulate others and they're increasing that effort because they have criminal intent. And so you need to watch out for that as well. Finally, the third aspect to that thin, that little moon in Leo is that Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio are squaring that moon in Leo. Scorpio is a fixed financial sign. Those are wonderful planets, but they're in a harsh aspect to the moon, and it is an indication that um, there can be some sort of question about funding. Scorpio rules money coming in from other sources. It could be your employer. It could be a family member. It could be your partner. It could be an inheritance or insurance proceeds or grants, or it could involve debt or taxes or loans of some sort. But the problem is, is that there can be uh, some funding that could represent a shortfall right now. And that shortfall could come simply because th things cost more now. I mean, there may not be enough money to go around. Or it could come from the idea of delayed payments. That, you know, somebody could say the check's in the mail and it's not. And so you could be getting a tormented heart from waiting for that. And then finally, it can simply be that there are people around that are not going to um, agree on the value of assets. And so there could be an argument about the value of assets and that could delay funding as well. So there are all kinds of reasons to have a tormented heart right now. And what I think is, could occur anywhere right now is that many people, young, remember there are children that are ruled by Leo, many people who are both young and old could endure a tormented or tortured heart right now. And that is why we, particularly with elements of danger being involved, we need to be very, very careful and uh, not take any risks or chances right now. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries, for you, the good news is you can be pretty popular because that moon in Leo is trining your sun. However, your popularity cannot answer for all your problems right now, Aries, because the sun and Mercury in Libra, which rule the law and partnership and fairness and balance and compromise, are opposing your sun sign, and there isn't anything in your sun sign but they are opposing it, which means that there can be people around that are insisting that the rule of law be followed and that uh, people be accountable for being fair and open to compromise. And so um, you may not get everything that you want right now, Aries. And then Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn are squaring your sign. And that simply means that people can have very uh, high standards right now and they would be requiring that you meet them and if you don't meet them, that could reflect unfavorably upon you, and you may suffer for that. On the other hand, I want to assure you, Aries, that if you do meet people's high expectations and you just try a little harder and you keep trying until you really get something right, 
you could be richly rewarded for that uh, by 2020 when Saturn finally leaves Capricorn and goes into Aquarius and uh, begins to sextile your sun. That would be good for you. All right, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is a time when you uh, can benefit because your sign is being supported or fortified by a trine from Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn to Uranus in your sign. So long-term efforts and long-term goals are what you should be concentrating upon, but it's you that might have a tormented heart for one reason or another, Taurus, and that's because yours is a fixed sign. And so today, Uranus in your sign is squaring that gentle moon in Leo, so there can be a sudden change of fortune either for you or somebody else. And if you have taken a gamble, I can assure you, you have lost and you'll have to redo your strategy. And then Mars in Aquarius is also squaring that Uranus. And those are two malefic planets coming up against each other. And that means there can be danger for you, Taurus. You need to be really careful. Don't take any risk. If I were you, I'd keep a real low profile right now because your own ruler, Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio are opposing your sun and some money that you had been or funding that you had been sort of counting on coming your way could be in question. And even if it does finally come, there could be a shortfall as well. So you really need to be on your best behavior and don't associate with anybody who seems to be threatening or dangerous because you would be making yourself vulnerable. And uh, that would not be a good idea. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is a time when I think things are going to go your way. If you haven't had any good legal news or uh, partnership news, it's still coming your way. And that's because the Sun and Mercury and Libra are trining your Sun, Gemini, and Mercury is your own ruler. It's in very good aspect to your Sun sign. And then that Mars in Aquarius, which is stirring things up among the fixed signs, is actually trining your Sun as well. So you may actually benefit from somebody who has taken a gamble and lost, whose, je whose future is in jeopardy right now, somehow that could turn out to be, uh, you know, something where you benefit from that in a way that you could not anticipate. It's, it could happen, but you, it's not anything you had planned. It could just turn out to be a good benefit for you because yours is a mutable sign. And there's only one planet in a mutable sign. Uh, Neptune in Pisces is squaring your sun. It's been doing that for a long time. You still don't know who to trust, but actually you have a lot of support right now, Gemini. So I wouldn't worry too much about anything. I don't think you're gonna have a tortured heart. What does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, the moon is your ruler and it's right ahead of your sign in Leo and it's all by itself. It's not receiving any support from any other planets, but it's getting pummeled by the other planets that are in fixed signs because they're squaring and opposing it. So I think, Cancer, that you could know somebody who has a tortured heart. They may have gambled and lost. They may have been laid off a job. They may have... Uh, uh, speculated on something and it was not profitable. Or it can be that they are just in a dangerous situation. That could occur as well. So I think that somebody who has a tortured heart is pretty close to home, Cancer. It could be a family member or a friend or just somebody that you know. I don't necessarily think it's you though because Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio are trining your sun and so is Neptune in Pisces. And as Neptune continues to be retrograde, it will reveal more and more truth that had been hidden behind the scenes, some of which you probably already know, and that could benefit you. So I think that a tortured heart is around you somewhere, Cancer, and since yours is a nurturing sign, you may want to give sympathy, but I don't think there's much else you can do, and I don't think it's gonna hurt you. Okay, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo, I think yours is the tortured heart. And that is because uh, Uranus and Taurus is squaring your sun, Venus and Jupiter and Scorpio are squaring your sun, and that aggressive Mars in Aquarius is opposing your sun. 
somebody could be jealous, vindictive, revengeful, or even a little crazy and want to come at you, Leo. So you too need to keep a low profile right now. And that is because there is no backup for your sign right now. And so the things that your sign rules that you're so fond of, such as children and sports and parties and the entertainment field and leadership, all of those things can be threatened right now and can lead, if there's problems with those things, it could lead to a tortured heart. If there is a tortured heart that you're beginning to feel, Leo, I think it could be because you've taken a gamble and lost or it can be because you realize that the consequences of your actions are about to become very expensive. In other words, people have to pay for their mistakes and you may have to do that. So there's a financial element that is in question that can be threatening your peace of mind as well. So my advice to you, Leo, is to back up. In other words, you know, something isn't working right now in your life. You don't need to go forward right now. You don't need to encounter people that can be antagonizing. I would not argue with anybody. Instead, back up and try to return to an occupation or a place or a time when you were happier and stick with it. Okay, forward motion could get you in trouble. You need to back up. So I hope you do it this time. And that would be in order to avoid danger as well. So I hope your tormented heart heals soon. I wish you the best. All right, what does it mean to a Virgo? Well, Virgo, I think that this is a time when it is best that you keep your mind on business and the reason why, and on health issues. And the reason why is because Uranus in Taurus is trining your sun and so are Jupiter and Pluto in Capricorn, which is good. And so there is the possibility, if you are keeping your mind on uh, tracking something or accounting for something or, um, or really paying attention to the details, it, it could be that something um, turns out to be a little bit better than you thought it would be, certainly financially. And so with Uranus, that planet of unexpected uh, change, in Taurus, trining your son, it can be that an investment of yours is worth a great deal more than you thought. And that could be a pleasant surprise. So I don't think that you're going to suffer from a tormented heart unless you are involved in some uh, emotional experience behind the scenes. That moon in Leo is right behind your sun sign. And it's a lot of light. So if there is somebody that you know that has taken a gamble and lost, uh, they could certainly have a tortured heart right now and they may want to include you in their misery and I advise you to stick to business instead. Because you can have a lot of sympathy but you cannot make up or pay for someone else's mistake. They have to do that themselves. And so this is a time when if you just stick to the practical, I think you'd be on safer ground. Okay, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, yours is the sign of the law, peace, partnership, compromise, reconciliation, beauty, the arts, and all legal contracts. There could be some good news coming your way about that, uh, Libra, because Mercury, the planet of news, is in your sun sign as well. And they're being fortified by that Mars in uh, Aquarius. Yes, it's causing a lot of problems among the fixed signs, but it's not causing you any problems, Libra, because it's trining your sun, which is good. So there can be people around with a lot of force and a lot of energy, and you could be the calm voice in the room right now, Libra, and you could be deciding to talk a little bit more about the necessity to be fair and balanced and follow the rule of the law. I mean, that's what you believe in. And that's good. I stay on that track, Libra, because Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn are squaring your sun. And you really do have to get used to doing things in a, a way that brings out the best in you, which means you have to respond to people who have high expectations right now, and they could also have very high demands of you. But they're worth it. In other words, they have a solid track record or they have a good reputation. So it would be worth it to you to try to live up to those expectations because in the end, that'll really pay off by 2020 when Saturn goes into Aquarius and begins to trine your sun. 
So uh, I'm not so sure you're going to have a tormented or tortured heart. But you do have to renew your faith and keep going, even if something is very challenging, because there could be a big reward for that in just a couple of years. Okay, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, yours is a fixed sign. And that simply means that, yes, you too could have a tortured heart right now, particularly if you are involved in any kind of some sort of gamble that hasn't paid off. And the reason why it hasn't paid off <clears throat> is because you can't have it both ways. And so that means that even though the two best planets in the heavens are in your sign, Venus and Jupiter, your future could be in jeopardy, particularly if you've taken a gamble and lost. And the reason why is that Mars, your own ruler, is in Aquarius squaring your sun. And when Mars is squaring Venus, it means men and women are not seeing eye to eye. And then that moon in Leo is squaring your sun, which could indicate that there could be uh, the result of some gambling losses or speculation that hasn't worked out well, or even the possibility of a layoff. And then Uranus in Taurus is opposing your sun sign, which means sudden change of fortune or a funding that was promised but isn't gonna come forward right now. So it all depends on uh, what you've been doing lately, Scorpio. And the problem is, is that you will reap as you have sown. And so if you've made a mistake, you'll have to pay for it. If instead you are involved in some sort of a gamble, I urge you to back away from that and not take the risk right now because you would lose. And if you're involved in any kind of financial argument, you lose that too. And that is why you sort of need to cool it right now if you can. It's for your own safety. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarian? Well, Sagittarius, this is a time when I think that you really need to concentrate on uh, sort of planning to go forward. And the reason why is that moon in Leo is in trouble on its own, but it's actually trining your sun, which means you can be pretty popular, particularly around home or with your family members, or there can be some sort of real estate um, issue or problem that is sort of stuck right now, but there is the possibility it could work out better for you over the holidays after Jupiter moves into your sun sign on November 8th. So I would say that since yours is a mutable sign, don't get caught up on all the, in all the tension that is around right now or all the torment because uh, that's the way it is. If you gamble and you lose, you got to pay up one way or another. I don't think you did that, Sagittarius, but you could know others who have. And I think you just need to stay away and be quiet or just go out the back door and close it and go on a trip right now. Maybe that would be the safest way for you to handle things by simply avoiding them, particularly since you didn't cause them. Okay, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is a time when I think that you uh, would benefit from being as, um, as cautious as you can be. Not because you're being threatened. Yours is not a fixed sign. Th those are the signs that have got problems right now. But actually yours is a cardinal sign and there can be a legal issue or a partnership issue that is a little bit up in the air right now. And the reason why is that the Sun and Mercury in Libra are squaring Saturn and Pluto in your own Sun sign. Now your sign is being tried by Uranus and Taurus. It's being fortified. So I think you are pretty sure of what you're doing, Capricorn, but there are still additional legal steps that may have to be taken or procedures and policies that have to be followed or, or some, some little hang up right now. It could be just with a partner or some sort of deal that is pending and you need to slow down a little bit. Take your time, uh, your sign is, as I said, well fortified. And so if you just sort of back up a little bit right now, Capricorn, and look at things again or line them up again and attach a timeline to your plans, just see if you agree with all that before you take the next step. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, Mars is in your sign and that moon in Leo is opposing it, but it doesn't have any backup. It's a pretty weak moon in Leo. And so Mars is in your sign and it is very strong. It's being trined by the sun and Mercury in Libra right now. But by itself, it is being squared by Uranus in Taurus, which is another malefic planet 
indicating sudden change of fortune. That could happen to you, Aquarius, but actually um, you can be also threatened by the fact that there can be some hang up on funding and that is because Venus and Jupiter and Scorpio are also squaring your sun. So there is some sort of financial problem that could lead to a tortured heart if it doesn't work out. But I'm happy to say, Aquarius, the law is on your side. And the reason why is that the, moon, the sun and Mercury in Libra, which rules the law, are trining your sun. So why don't you get together with somebody who could offer you some really good legal advice? Because it looks like you may not, you may be experiencing a tormented heart because you just don't know enough about a legal situation. And it looks like the law is on your side. So I would go and find out more about that because that could really help you out. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Pisces? Well, Pisces, this is a time when I think that you are certainly um, able to look back over the year and discover that, gee, you've had a pretty good year because actually right now, Venus and Jupiter in Scorpio are trining your sun, which is great because they're the two blessed planets up there. So there is the possibility that more money is coming your way, Pisces, and I don't think you have a tormented heart. In fact, there are no planets in the other mutable signs in harsh aspect to your sun at all, but you do have Neptune there. And that means you could be kidding yourself about something. I don't, I hope it's not about money though. So, you know, my aunt always said, don't count it till it's in your hand, but it does look as if there's some more coming your way. It, it also means that that could cap off a rather good year for you, congratulations. So I don't think your heart will be tormented. All right, thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can see our show, read our blog, and hear our podcast on our website, starborninstitute.org.